Hello, Team Incredible. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Easy Beauty by Nicole. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is a video requested by Latoya Davis of Team Incredible. Um, the last video I did, Latoya asked if I could do a video on foundation and foundation basics because she wants to incorporate foundation into her beauty routine, which I think is fun because I think makeup is fun. Um, and so I am creating this video for educational purposes and informative purposes for um, your customers, your clients, your representatives, and team leaders, and also for personal use. If you're looking to incorporate foundation into your makeup routine, I'm going to try to break down um, foundation as best I can. Anyone, if you've got any tips, tricks, pointers, or information, please put them in the comments because I love talking and I love chit-chatting. Um, also, if there is something that you wanna see or you think that your team needs to see, like you wanna see a video on contouring or you wanna see a video on mascara or you wanna see a video on lashes or whatever, Put the comment below, let me know. I spoke with Carla. I don't think this video can be shared from the Team Incredible page because it's a closed group, but don't worry. I'm gonna be posting this video to my Facebook page, which is Easy Beauty by Nicole Bordino. And I'm also going to be posting this to my YouTube channel, which is also Easy Beauty by Nicole Bordino. Um, if you have trouble finding it or you don't have a YouTube account, you can always send me a direct message right here in Facebook and I will send you the video and then you can post it to your team page or share it with your, you know, you can forward it to your team members because caring means sharing and knowing about the products that we share with everyone is really important so that you can be in the know and help your customers make informed decisions about the products that they buy from you and keep them happy. So um, I will be talking about and using Avon products. If you don't use Avon products or you're not an Avon rep, this video is still applicable. But for my Avon reps, just know that the products that I'm going to be talking about are going to our company's uh, products made by our company. And I also have um, our latest campaign magazine right here to keep me on track. Um, check out my um, convertible necklace. I really love this and the earrings. I took a picture on my Instagram with the back. I think these are the convertible earrings. They can be studs or they can be long earrings. And then this is the high-low necklace. And so you can pull it and make it long. Or you can tighten these two little pull strings back here. Do, 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 and, you know, make it whatever length you want. So that is a lot of fun. So I'm going to jump right into this video because when it comes to talking about foundation, there's a lot to know. And so I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. I'll try to keep it under 30 minutes. Um, and I will try to cover as much as I can. So if you don't use foundation, if you've never used foundation, don't worry. Um, there is nothing to be afraid of. If you're worried about looking crazy or looking like a cake face or it settles in your lines or you see pores, I'm going to try to give you all the tips and tricks that you need to know to make foundation work for you. So. The first thing you want to consider when choosing a foundation is your skin type. You want to know your skin type and you want to know the formula that you're going to be using. So essentially there's, uh, what have I got here? Essentially there's four types of foundation, regardless of whether you use Avon or Estee Lauder or MAC or whatever, there's four types of foundation. There are liquids, there are creams or cream to powders. Cream foundations can either be in a pan like this or they can be on a stick. Some companies make cream foundation on a cool stick like Krylon. Avon's cream to powder foundation is in a nice compact. Avon's liquid foundations are the True Color Ideal Nude 
and there's also one more this is where i have my campaign which i actually went to order for myself yesterday and it was all sold out so i actually have to wait to get my next liquid foundation the true color flawless liquid foundation i want to buy this and i actually went online to buy it i wanted to buy honey beige and pure beige and both colors were sold out and what that means is this is an incredible foundation everyone loves it if it's sold out that means it's a great product when I get it, I'll do a tutorial showing you guys what this looks like. But getting back to it, Avon has two liquid foundations. They have the Flawless Cream to Powder Foundation. They also have the new Compact Foundation. The third foundation formulation that you will see a lot is pressed powder, which is more like a pressed powder than a foundation. Um, but a lot of people can use this as foundation if they have really clear skin. And then the fourth um, formulation of foundation is mineral. And Avon has a really cool mineral foundation right here. So it is really important to know your skin type because your skin type is going to determine the foundation that you use. Certain foundation types um, are more compatible with certain skin types than others. Now, you can use whatever foundation you want. It boils down to personal preference, but follow the lead of your skin and what your skin likes will tell you what foundation you should be using. So, if you have dry skin or sensitive skin, dry skin does really well with liquid foundations. Dry skin loves liquid foundations. If you have dry skin, you can use mineral foundation and you can also use powder foundation. Just make sure to moisturize and prime your skin. If you have dry skin that tends to wrinkle or you have wrinkles here or wrinkles here, or wrinkles in your forehead and you put on a mineral foundation or a powder foundation without first applying a primer, what's gonna happen is that powder is going to settle in the lines and it's going to accentuate the lines and so if you have dry skin and the texture of your skin, you've got really good, good, clear skin, and you don't need a lot of coverage, a powder or a mineral foundation would work really well. Just please remember primer. If you don't remember primer, um, it's not going to be very compatible with your skin, but it can be done. Liquid foundation is also good for combination to normal skin and also good for oily skin. Um, and acne skin. I use liquid foundation and I have oily skin and I also have um, been battling with adult acne. Um, what you must remember if you have oily skin or acne skin is that if you are going to use a liquid foundation, make sure that it is non-comedogenic, hyperallergenic, non-comedogenic, and also please make sure that you use a primer. And the honest truth is, um, tip number one, is that regardless of your skin type, everyone should be using a primer before they apply their foundation. The primer is going to set the stage for your foundation. And so if you have dry skin, you want to use, um, you can use Avon's Magix Face Perfector, which is a nice gel foundation. It is compatible with dry skin, normal skin, and oily skin to give yourself a good foundation. Or if you have dry skin, I've actually been trying this new Laura Geller um, primer and I really, really like it. It's a hydrating, it's a really nice hydrating foundation. And even though I have oily skin, this is not a silicone based primer. And so my skin really likes it. So here's some background information. Most primers contain silicones. The primary um, silicone in most foundations is um, dimethicone or cymethicone. Um, which tends to aggravate oily or acne skin. If you have acne and you have oily skin and you find this to be true, comment down below. Um, let me know what you do to combat breakouts when you use a, a primer. So if you have oily skin, you wanna make sure that the primer that you use is hyperallergenic and non-comedogenic and just always make sure that you read the ingredients in your primers. There are some primers that are silicone based and they also add 
salicylic acid, which is acne medication to help combat that. What I have noticed is that my skin really likes primers that um, don't contain silicones. And so, if I'm going to be wearing makeup for a short amount of time, like just to do some photos or do a video, I use the Magic FX Primer because I wash it off once I'm done. But if I'm having a long day, like a long day out, activities, events, and I need a good primer that won't break out my skin, um, I'm a huge fan of this Laura Geller primer and I think it was only like $30 at Ulta. So really important, regardless of your skin type, prime your skin. So if you have normal to combination skin, you're the lucky duck who can use just about any foundation you want. You can do a liquid, you can do a mineral, you can do a stick, a, a cream to powder, powder, whatever. Your skin is that perfect middle ground that you can pretty much use whatever you want. So someone who has normally to normally normal to combination skin, probably what's gonna determine what type of foundation you use is going to be the type of coverage that you want because different foundations provide you with different coverage. And so the second thing that you want to keep in mind, or was that the third? I think it's the third. The third thing that you wanna keep in mind when choosing a foundation is the type of coverage that you want. So different foundations have different coverage. You can have sheer to light coverage, light to medium coverage, or you can have medium to heavy coverage. So mineral foundations and powder foundations are light coverage. Um, they're for someone who's got just really clear, beautiful skin. They don't require a lot. They don't need to cover a lot. And they can just put on some primer. They can put on the Magic FX and then dust their face with some powder. Maybe put a little bit of concealer and they're out the door. The next coverage is from liquid foundations. Liquid foundations can give light to medium coverage or they can give medium to full coverage. So as far as Avon products are concerned, Avon's True Color Ideal Nude is a liquid foundation that gives light to medium coverage. And I really like this because, and it's almost empty, because if I'm having a good day with my skin, I can apply one layer, just apply my concealer and I'm done. But this makeup, the coverage is buildable. And what that means is, is you can layer this. So I can apply one layer, let it dry, do you know my eyes, do my eyebrows. And then on areas of my face where I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, like maybe if um, I have some pimples to cover or I have some pores I wanna cover or some discoloration I wanna color, I can go in with a smaller brush and apply this foundation just in the areas where I feel like I need extra coverage and build the coverage. So this is a wonderful, wonderful foundation. It's very versatile. You can apply this with a damp sponge and give yourself nice sheer coverage, or I need to move this out of my lap, it's gonna fall. Or you can do it with a brush and just give yourself one sheer coating, or you can do it with a sponge and give yourself a couple layers and this is great worth every penny. Um, the foundation that I really wanna try that I don't have is Avon's Flawless Foundation. And that is a liquid foundation with medium to heavy coverage. It's buildable and so it gives you a nice thick coverage to kind of cover everything in one swoop. And if you need to build it to a heavier coverage, you can. So we really like that. So um, the next formulation that's really good for normal to combination skin is cream, cream to powder. Cream to powder foundations tend to have the fullest or the heaviest coverage because it's a it's a cream. Um, ones that you find in a compact are like medium to heavy coverage, but when it comes to full coverage makeup, um, the heaviest is probably what is found in sticks. And that is, um, that's like theatrical makeup that um, Krylon makes makeup like that. Um, ben Nye makes makeup like that. Like that's makeup for the stage, for theater, for drag, for TV. 
Um, I mean, unless you're trying to cover up like maybe scars or burns or that's the makeup that you use if you want to cover like a tattoo. That's real thick, heavy coverage makeup. Nobody really needs that um, for real life. So that's the beauty of having um, normal combination skin is you can choose whatever formulation you want. If you're someone like me who has oily skin or acne or both oily skin and acne, the best formulations are liquid and cream to powder. Um, you can do mineral because mineral and powder foundations go really well with oily skin. Because they're powder, they actually go extremely well with oily skin. And so if you have oily skin that's clear, you know, you don't have a lot to cover up, you don't have a lot of acne, you're not trying to cover a whole lot of pores and stuff like that, good old fashioned powder or mineral will work perfectly for you. You will love it. But if you have a lot to cover, like I do, I like liquid or cream to powder. Um, but like I said, I've been loving liquid and building upon that with um, my concealer. And so Avon has three concealers. I have two of the concealer formulations from Avon. I love their liquid concealer. I've got like three, I love these. And I recently tried their concealer, that their cream concealer that comes in these little pots here. And these are perfect. They give me the, the coverage that I need, um, especially if my skin is misbehaving and it's being exceptionally naughty like it is today. So that's what you need to know when choosing your foundation. Please take into account your skin type, whether it be um, dry, normal combination, or oily. Take into account what formulation you want to try. And then also um, keep in mind the type of coverage that you want, whether you want like something really light or whether you want something medium or, or heavy. I have lots of different foundations because the type of coverage that I desire varies uh, according to what I'm doing. So if I'm just going out for the day, I may not wear any makeup. I try to give my skin a break, to be honest. I, yeah, I, I leave all this crazy out to the world, believe me. Um, if I'm doing like pictures, I will, um, do something much more heavier or for special events you know I'll do my cream to powder but I'm just gonna do a basic liquid um, because liquid foundation is probably the one foundation that all three skin types can use and so I have been loving um, the Avon true color ideal nude in light caramel and actually I think this is sold out too I went to reorder this I think it's sold out too oh my god you wouldn't believe it so when applying liquid foundation um, there's lots of ways you can apply liquid foundation. You can use a stippling brush, which is one of my favorite ways. You can use a makeup sponge, which is my new favorite. Um, or you can use a foundation brush. Wait, 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 wait. Where's my foundation brush? Ah! I don't have one. Really? Okay. You can use a um, foundation brush. I'm not crazy about using foundation brushes for liquids because they leave lines. Um, almost as if um, when you go to paint a wall and you see the lines. So you can use this to put it on, but you can't stop there. You're going to um, need to get a stippling brush to blend it, or you're going to need to get a sponge to blend it because when it dries, if you don't blend it well, you'll be able to see like the lines, almost like application lines um, from your brush. So Avon has a great stippling foundation brush. This foundation brush I got from Coastal Scents. It's not that old. And this is probably one of my, look at shedding. It's probably one of my three-year-old brushes. It's not that old, but I really like it. Um, and so I'm hanging on to it. And then the new thing I've incorporated into my routine is this beautiful, squishy blending brush that I just cleaned. It smells good. I just washed it. And so this is what I'm going to use to apply my makeup. And so I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to take um, Light Caramel, the Ideal Nude Liquid Foundation. Shake it. Make sure you shake your foundation, um, especially if it's liquid like this, because 
this has sunscreen and the main ingredient in sunscreen are I believe like oxalates wait do get me to lie in yeah it's titanium dioxide and oxyno oxides and like titanium dioxides which are essentially like minerals and so what happens is, is if your liquid foundation has sunscreen in it you've got to shake it because those minerals will settle um, in your foundation and so you want to shake it and make sure that that the sunscreen is distributed evenly within the foundation and it, it doesn't get all like cakey and icky on you you know so what you can do is you can take your foundation brush and you can apply a little bit on there look it's almost gone oh my gosh help okay and what I do is I just strike my face just like that like I give myself little tiger stripes you, 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 you. Oh my God, look at those pimples. Ah! Let me tell you, that ice cream was so good. It was, um, they have, for Leah's school, Spirit Night is at our local ice cream parlor called Busy's, and of course, everyone's got, like, pumpkin spice fever. So they had a pumpkin spice ice cream, and the lady was like, do you want to try it? And I was like, yeah, it was so good. I don't know if it was worth risking a new cropping of pimples on my face but I'll go with it so when I apply my contour I do contour my neck so I do put foundation a little bit down on my neck um, because you don't want that dreaded line of demarcation like that's something you're worried about and people being able to see like where your foundation starts and stops bring it down to your neck just a little bit so I am going to blend with this little blender which I love this little blender, oh my God, it even feels good. It's like soothing. I love it. And so what you do is, you bounce this little baby up and down. I don't know what that was, I just rubbed off. Probably a brush, a little brush hair. And, and this motion is called stippling. And you can do this stippling motion with your brush. I don't know why this little guy is not behaving. He's not behaving at all. So I'm going to switch it up. And I'm going to use my brush. Because I don't know why that little guy is not behaving. Probably because it's still a little bit damp. So you can do the same stippling motion with a brush. And that's the beauty of brushes is now what you want to make sure that you blend oh my goodness look at that that's awful that was ice cream my skin can change literally from day to day it can look great one day and horrible the next depending on what I eat it's insane it's crazy you wouldn't believe it. So earlier I was talking about a foundation being buildable. And so I want to show you what I mean when I say that. So I've already applied one layer of this foundation all over my face. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in, same foundation, and a small, slightly smaller brush. And go, go, go. And apply it to the areas of my face where there's like a lot of discoloration, um, blotchy skin tone. I mean, as you can see, I didn't apply it everywhere, just extra where I needed it and stipple that in. Now, if I were just going out to run errands, and you know, just do my regular mommy running around, um, I'd stop here. Um, but I'm going to show you how I utilize concealer. And I'm going to be using my cream concealers. You use your cream concealers and your liquid concealers the same way. The only difference is you want to give yourself a little bit more coverage. So the cream concealer is going to give me more coverage. I wonder what's wrong with this little guy. Why it wasn't cooperating. 
um, because it's still damp. I'm gonna use it to blend my concealer and hopefully it behaves. So I'm going to go in with the cream concealer in medium deep. First thing I do is go in and cover my bags and my dark circles. And so what I do is if you're going for a full on makeup look, like I said, if, you're, if you don't need concealer, you can stop right there. But if you want to add a little bit of concealer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give ourselves two little triangles. And you can either use your cream concealer or you can use your tube. Apply it the same way. I'm gonna take my blendy sponge and pray it behaves. And I'm gonna use the same bouncy motion to blend this in. Using a lighter concealer for this area brightens up the eye area. It lightens and brightens the eye area. And it also is like a way of highlighting. This is not optional. But let me tell you, if you've got an Instagram or you've got um, a Facebook or oh, blend, or you do pictures, you do product pictures, and you want your pictures to look really good, get that concealer. Don't be afraid. And just so you guys know, because you're probably like, oh my God, she forgot to prime her face. Just so you know, I've already primed my face and let me show you my primer. I primed with this spackle today. But please, please, please remember to prime your face. Do, 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 do. Now, I can stop here, put on some powder and finish, but it's gonna be extra. And so, what I wanna do is kind of cover all of this discoloration I have like around my mouth. And I also want to cover um, the hyperpigmentation. This is like acne scarring. And of course, cover up these big old pimples on my face. So using my concealer brush, do, 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 do. I apply that around my nose, around my mouth, and the first layer to cover up all these pimples. They're such a pain. I have to go back to my strict diet. We're such a pain. They really are. Consider yourself blessed if you've got beautiful, like nice, clear skin, no acne. Let me pull my lighting back. My lighting is like a little bit nutty right now. Okay, that's better. Um, and if you don't suffer from acne, consider yourself blessed. Lucky, blessed, fortunate, however you want to say it. What is that? I don't know. Probably my brush hairs. Um, consider yourself blessed because having to cover up acne scars is um, really annoying. Um, I was actually really timid about coming in front of the camera and even like showing my face without makeup and like showing the struggle that I go through with makeup. Um, but one of our team leaders, Lenise, said, she's like, you know, you're probably not the only woman dealing with it and make a video on it. And I'm sure you'll find someone who can relate. And so I hope there's someone out there that can, you know, relate to the struggle. So the key to covering up acne is to just layer. You, you layer, you build and build and build um, until you get the coverage that you want. And you dot, dot, dot. You literally just soft little dots and then press. 
When you're covering acne, you want to pat. You don't want to rub to blend the makeup. If you rub to blend the makeup, you're just going to rub it off. And then you're going to find yourself having to apply more makeup, more makeup, and you're like, I'm applying all this makeup and I'm not covering my pimples. And it's because you're rubbing it off. So it's really important that if you're covering dark spots, if you're covering um, acne scars, if you're covering hyperpigmentation, pat, 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 pat. So I think I'm done with concealer. And so the next step is to powder it so that it lasts. So I'm going to take my powder. This is my loose powder by Avon. I absolutely love it. Um, it is Avon's True Color Flawless Loose Powder in Medium Deep. And I am going to beat my face. I have got to cover up all of this. I'm going to get my powder. Pop, 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 pop. It's on there. And what powder does is powder sets your makeup. You can put all of this makeup on your face. And if you don't put powder... It's gonna slide right off, especially, especially if you've got oily skin. If you've got oily skin, holy moly. After you have applied your concealer, after you have applied your coverage, go in and powder, girl. So if you hear the young girls, like the young kids, um, and they say, oh, your face is beat, or, you know, like, she really beats her face. They're referring to the act of having to, like, bup, 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 pack powder onto your face to um, set your makeup. So I'm just trying to dump out some more powder. And essentially, you just beat on as much as you need or pat on as much as you need, whatever you want to call it, however you want to say it, to set your makeup. <laughs> now, the downside to powder and concealing, especially if you do a lot of highlighting and concealing, is that sometimes it can make you look a little bit lighter um, than you should. You can get like this unnatural color to your face. And so one of the things that you can do, and like I said, this is all extra, you can stop here. If you're happy with, with how your face looks when you do this step, stop. If you're like, I kinda wanna bring the color back, you wanna take your, um, Pressed powder, and I'm going to take my pressed powder brush. It's also a Coastal Sense brush. It has so many. Ay, ay, ay. Work it in there. Tap off the excess, and you see how this is much lighter. Like this side of my face is light, and this one looks more natural. I've just kind of brought the color back to it. So if you don't want to look super, super pale. Get your pressed powder in a darker shade. And just apply it. Kind of warm your face up so you don't look crazy. See? It just warms my face up. Now I don't look like a crazy bird. Underneath my eyes is still nice and light and bright. But I've now just returned the color uh, back to my face. Ta da! Done. If I was going to be going out and having like a really long day and I wanted like what I call marathon makeup, I would go in with another layer of powder and my brush and just go in and cover my entire face. I love this brush, it feels so good. And just press it in. It's going to set everything that you've done all that hard work please don't put in all this hard work 
to do your makeup and then you don't set it and it's running off your face. So this is a tip slash trick. If you don't want your makeup running off your face or melting off your face, powder it, babe. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to quickly contour, do my blush, do my lips, a little bit of mascara. I'll be right back, guys. All right, I am back. And so you can see I completed my look. I did a little bit of contour, blush, a little bit of highlight. I just had to because I'm extra. I'm sorry. Um, I threw on an ombre lip, which I hope to do like a little quickie video of that. And so um, if you don't follow me um, on Facebook and you're an Instagrammer, definitely follow me on Instagram. It is E, letter E, Z, Beauty by Nicole. Nicole with two Cs. Um, because I do like little quick videos that I throw up in my stories of me just like doing my lips or doing my mascara or throwing on a highlighter and it's a lot of fun to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today, Team Incredible. Um, I hope this video kind of like help break down and help you sort out where you need to start when um, choosing a foundation and building a foundation routine. But remember, ultimately, it is up to you. Do what makes you happy. Do what you love. I love makeup. I'm a product junkie. I do it. I love it. Um, I love spending this time with you guys. Have a great week. It's Sunday. I'm recording this on Sunday to post Monday. So when you see this, it'll be Monday. Happy Monday. Have a great week, you guys. Stay incredible, team incredible, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.